What's going on guys and girls? Welcome to another video. So I actually, I had this bright idea that I didn't want to film in the studio today. I wanted to come outside and film because I didn't want it to be the same thing over and over again. And it was a really nice day out, um, but it looks like, it looks like the skies are changing and I'm probably like 20 minutes away from it starting to pour. So I'm gonna jump right into this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna be talking about 20 items that we've sold on eBay recently for $100 or more. So I'm gonna jump over to my laptop and show you the eBay listings. We'll talk about how much they sold for, including shipping. And we'll just go over 20 items that you yourself can be on the lookout for while you're out there so that you know, you know, these are items that can and have sold for a hundred dollars plus and everything that i'm going to show you in today's video we sold ourselves on our ebay account within the past 90 days so all 20 items sold within the past 90 days these aren't items that have been listed for years and years these are recent ebay sales within the last 90 days so again hopefully you enjoy this video if you like stuff like this guys smash the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet so Let's do this before the rain comes. I'm gonna jump over to my laptop now and let's go through these 20 items. Okay, so the first item that we have here is this Tag Formula One watch. Uh, this one sold for $700 with free shipping. This was out of my personal watch collection. I just didn't want the watch anymore. So I decided to sell it. It was in decent condition, like eight out of 10, I guess, condition. And like I said, it sold for $700. Had it listed for $847, and I took a best offer on it for $700. Next up is this Static Solutions OHM. This was a dual heel tester grounder. Uh, we found these at a garage sale. So I found two of them at a garage sale, paid, I believe I paid 10, five or $10 a piece. So this was a really good sale. Um, and both of them have sold now. This one sold for $365. Next up is a 2015 Toyota Avalon car stereo system so you can actually see we've sold 11 of these units this came in like a, a large wholesale order that we did for these car radios and this last one that we sold um, it's actually heavily discounted right now for the last four uh, but this particular one when it sold it sold for $449 next you guys probably saw this one it sold the same day that we listed it three of them sold together for $480 uh, Texas Instruments TI calculators they sold together like I said for $480 shipped how's that weather looking it feels like the the sky is definitely not looking great and the wind's picking up, so let's go. <laughs> uh, this is a Tupac vintage t-shirt and I took a best offer on this one for $350 shipped. Next up is a Motley Crue vintage Raglan shirt. Uh, this one sold for $305.95. Really cool one. It was from a 1984 tour, so it had a front and a back. And it is raining. Okay, let's move this inside. <laughs> It was a good try, right? It was a good effort. <laughs> Let's go inside. I just beat the rain, so yeah. That just goes to show you guys that sometimes you have this grand idea and the universe says, nah, go back inside. Uh, so you're stuck with me back in the warehouse. Luckily, I didn't get rain on with all that camera equipment out there. Um, but yeah, let's jump back over to the computer and continue going with this video. So we talked about the Motley Crue shirt already. Again, that one sold for $305.95. Next up, we have a Kuji sweater. This one sold for $250 with free shipping. That was the best offer that we took for $250. And one thing that you'll notice on some of these listings is it says zero available, two sold. That doesn't mean that we had two of these. Um, what it means is that someone bought the item and never paid for for the item and the way that we list on eBay is with that out of stock option on. So when our items sell, it just drops the quantity to zero. So when that person ended up not paying, all we did was go back into the listing, changed it back to quantity one available, and then it sold again. So that's why it says two sold, even though it only sold one time. Next up, this was part of a wholesale lot that we had, a DeLonghi Nespresso machine. This one sold for $225 with free shipping. Good machine. It was one of those like uh, new no box machines. So we didn't have the box for it, but still listed it and it sold well. Another good vintage 80s t-shirt sale. This one was 1984 um, and same thing. Look, two sold. So it sold one time, buyer didn't pay, relisted it and it sold again. So we ended up getting paid on this one and it sold for $235.95. And this one again was a 1984 vintage rat tour raglan t-shirt. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear the rain now, but it is pouring outside. So I definitely would have got, I would have got soaked if I had stayed outside. Hold on, let me show you quick. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I came inside when I did because that is a serious rainstorm. Oh my gosh. 
All right, I'm gonna do what I can to power through this video. If all you guys hear is rain in the background, I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but metal roof, and if you hear rain, I apologize, but I'm just gonna jump back over and try to finish out this video. So the next item we sold is a pair of Adidas men's Yeezy Boost shoes. We don't do a lot in like hype shoes, but if we get Yeezys for the right price, we'll sell them because they sell very fast for us. So this pair of Yeezys sold for $200 shipped. Next up, another cool t-shirt. This is a 90s Beatles t-shirt, front and back back graphic size extra large one thing that we also like to do with vintage t-shirts is we include this right here so we include a picture of the measurements so people can see them immediately without having to go into the description of the listing they can just open it up and see exactly what the measurements are it makes it a lot easier and we get far fewer returns now that we do that so this Beatles t-shirt sold for a best offer of $155.95 shipped next up this was a thrift store find you guys may have seen me pick it up in one of the past videos I found it in a Goodwill I took pictures of it in in the Goodwill and I listed it on my phone in the Goodwill and it sold it ended up selling for $165 shipped another Goodwill find I actually think I found this item at that same Goodwill um, like a week before I found the Black & Decker one so sometimes the electronic section at thrift stores does well for us and sometimes it doesn't do well but this time it did it did well I always check just in case I try to look out for new in the box items because they sell faster and better for us so this brand new Dell monitor sold for 150 bucks so it sold for the full 149.97 shipped another thrift store find a goodwill find and another 150 dollars sale so 149.97 for this ben roethlisberger jersey i wasn't sure about this one um, i couldn't find any good comps on it so i listed it high and sometimes that's the best thing to do when you don't know the price just either if you want to do it as, as an auction you can we don't really like to do auctions but sometimes i'll just list it high put best offer on it and see what happens and in this case it ended up selling for full price 149.97 shipped next up you guys know i love grateful dead t shirts and this is a very unique Grateful Dead t-shirt. Usually they have like, you know, the bears on them or the Bertha or like traditional Grateful Dead graphics. This one is unique because it doesn't have those graphics on it. It just has the rose in the middle and the dragons and it's kind of like a Chinese style graphic Grateful Dead t-shirt. And on the back it said Year of the Dragon and this t-shirt sold for $145.95 shipped. Another good vintage t-shirt. This is actually one that we've sold multiple times. Um, we have another one for sale right now, I believe, but this one was really good in great condition. It's a 1993 vintage Van Halen all over print t-shirt. And this one sold for a best offer of $124.95. So if you see this t-shirt listed on our eBay account, just know that you can buy it from us for $124.95. Another good sale. So this was part of a lot that sat in our warehouse for like a year. We just never got around to listing it. It was part of a bunch of stuff. And finally, Callie was like, hey, let's just get that item listed. So Callie put it up on eBay for us and it ended up selling for $98.77. So not quite $100, but $99, we'll round up and call it hundred bucks. Same thing with this item. It sat around at our house for like a year. We had our fun with it. We played the games, we beat the games that we wanted to beat. And then we listed it on eBay and it sold for again, almost hundred dollars, not quite. It sold for 98, 97, so 99 bucks. And it is a Nintendo Super NES mini classic. I'm sure you guys remember these around Christmas time they came out and everybody was trying to buy them, uh, but even used, it sold for $98.97. Next up, this was a really cool sale. This was again, part of a local wholesale buyout that we did. We bought a bunch of shoes and a bunch of t-shirts from a local person and this was part of that lot. And I just thought they were cool shoes and who would have known, right? They're, they're really, really beat up, but the soles were okay and they still had life in them. So it was really just like the outside of them that was super duper distressed, but it, it definitely gave them a look that some people do look out for. So they sold. Um, they sat out for a little while. I think they sat out for like a month. Um, but they did end up selling for $105 shipped. And then lastly, one of my favorite t-shirts to wear, uh, this one didn't quite fit me, otherwise I would have kept it, but this is an Apple t-shirt on a Screen Stars Best tag, one of my favorite tags too. My second favorite, my first is the old vintage Fruit of the Loom tags, uh, but this is a good tag too. Screen Stars Best, Apple t-shirt, nothing on the back. You've got the multicolored Apple on the front. Had it listed for $125 plus shipping and it ended up selling for $100 even. And that is it, guys and girls. 20 items that we sold within the past 90 days for $100 plus on eBay. 
hopefully this video turns out okay. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna plug it in and start editing it now to see how it sounds and how it looks. But I wanted to get out of the warehouse and get out in nature. Um, but maybe, maybe it'll work out on a different video. <laughs> but either way, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed, please. A lot of people have been saying that they're not subscribed to our YouTube channel. They were subscribed and like YouTube kicked them off or something. I don't know. But make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Please hit the thumbs up button on the video and I will see you on the next one. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out, guys. Bye.